Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos looking at the different parts of the Pearson test for English general at the B2 level. First we're going to look at part one, section one, and this is the multiple choice listening. In this task you have a series of uh, short extracts to listen to, either conversations or people talking by themselves, and you have a question with three options. Now the difficult part here is that you only hear the listening once, then you move on. So what can you do to increase your chances of success? Well here are a few tips. First of all, before and just after each of the listenings, you'll have about 10 seconds to read through the question and the options. In this time, you should try to think about some synonyms or words connected with the topic. For example, if the question has something connected with sport, Think about the places where you play different sports. Think about the equipment that's used. Even if this vocabulary doesn't appear in the listening task, you'll still be preparing your brain for what follows. So the other thing to be careful of is to watch out for distractions. It might look like one of the answers is right, and then suddenly towards the end you hear the word but, and this suggests actually one of the other answers is, is the correct one. Also, listen to the tone of voice of the speaker. Sometimes you have to match the mood or the feelings of the speaker to the answer. Do they sound cheerful? If so, look for a more optimistic answer. Do they sound depressed or sad? In that case, look for a more miserable answer. So here is a short example that I've made myself and an example question for you. Here's an example. First, read the question and try to think of the synonyms connected with each of the animals in the question. Boo! I'm really fond of the silly things with their big floppy ears. I love being chased round the garden by mine, you know, throwing it a stick and waiting for it to go and fetch it. So hopefully you chose the right answer, which was A, dogs. Of course the word dog doesn't appear. You have to kind of read between the lines or listen for the synonyms. You might think that it was B, elephants, if you only heard the word big ears. But this is just a distraction. Okay, so that's the general idea here. So use the time that you have to think of other expressions for each of the possible answers and always wait until the end of the listening before you choose which answer you think is correct. If you do hear one of the words from the answers actually spoken, it suggests that's not going to be the right answer and you can eliminate it. If you eliminate one of the three options, it means you've got a 50-50 chance of being correct. Okay, in the next video we'll look at section 2.